In this video, we're gonna talk about how you add integers utilizing absolute value, right? And there's two rules that we're going to talk about. If your numbers have the same exact sign, so for example, if they're both positive or they're both negative, we're gonna utilize this rule right here. Whereas if we have different signs, like a number is positive and negative or negative and positive, AKA different signs, we're gonna utilize the second rule here, different signs. Right, so let's go ahead and jump right into a couple problems. Now, adding integers, if you're learning this for the very first time, it can be somewhat challenging trying to add a positive and a negative number or two negative numbers. Just with practice, getting used to it, and over time, it's gonna become super easy and second nature to you, all right? So stay focused, you can do it, all right? So for number one, we have negative eight plus five. These are different signs, eight's negative, Five's positive. So I'm going to utilize this rule right here, the different signs rule. And it tells us to take the larger absolute value minus the smaller absolute value. And in case you forget what absolute value is, it's the distance away from zero. So let's take the absolute value of each number, right? So we have the absolute value of negative eight. Well, the absolute value of negative eight is positive eight. And the absolute value of five is five, right? So let's take our larger absolute value, which is eight, minus our smaller absolute value, which is five. Eight minus five is going to give us an answer of three. And the second part of the rule says, keep the sign of your larger absolute value. Well, eight originally was negative, which means my final answer needs to be negative as well. So we get negative three for our first one, right? Let's move on to number two. We have negative 14 plus negative 12. They have the same signs. They're both negative. So we're gonna utilize the first rule, same signs rule, okay? It tells us to add the absolute values together. So let's go ahead and find the absolute value of both numbers first. The absolute value of negative 14 is positive 14. And the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. And it tells us to add those together. Well, 14 plus 12 equals 26. And it tells us to keep the sign. So if you look at both of your original numbers, they were both negative, which means your final answer needs to also be negative. And we end up getting negative 26 for number two. For number three, we have different signs once again. 15 is positive and three is negative. So we're gonna utilize the different signs rule. So let's go ahead once again and find the absolute value of each one. The absolute value of 15 is 15. And the absolute value of negative three is positive three. We're gonna go ahead and subtract our larger one minus our smaller one. So 15 minus three is 12. And then we want to keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So if you look at 15, 15 is our largest number, and it was originally positive, which means my final answer also needs to be positive. So final answer for number three is a positive 12. For number four, we have the same sign. They're both negative. So let's go ahead and find the absolute value for each one. Well, negative 10, the absolute value, that is positive 10. The absolute value of negative 13 is positive 13. We want to go ahead and add those together. So we have 10 plus 13 is 23. And we want to keep the sign of our original numbers. They were both negative. So my final answer also needs to be negative. So we get negative 23 for number four. For number five, we have different signs. Let's go ahead and find the absolute value of each one. The absolute value of negative five is five. The absolute value of six is six. Since we have different signs, take your larger absolute value minus your smaller one. Six minus five is one. And then you wanna keep the sign of the larger one. So six was positive, which means my answer needs to be positive. So I get positive one, right? And for number six, we have different signs. Once again, let's take the absolute values. So absolute value of four is four. Absolute value of negative nine is nine, right? We want to take our larger absolute value, which is nine minus four. 
you end up getting an answer of five. However, we want to keep the sign of the larger number. Nine was originally negative, which means my final answer also needs to be negative. So I get negative five. Right now, before you get out of this video, I have six problems that I want you to practice. So I encourage you to pause the video here, right? Try seven through 12 on your own using absolute value, paying attention to the same sign rule, the different sign rule. If you want to even backtrack to the previous problems we did together, right? Try them out. When you think you have all the answers, come back and play the video and see how you did. So I'm assuming at this point you've tried seven through 12 and you're ready to check your answer. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Well, for number seven, we have same signs. They're both negative. So let's go ahead and start by finding the absolute values once again of both of those. The absolute value of negative 18 is positive 18. The absolute value of negative four is positive four. Since we have the same signs, you wanna add your absolute values together. So 18 plus four gives us 22. And since both of our numbers were originally negative, our final answer also needs to be negative. So we get negative 22 for the first one, right? For eight, we have different signs. So let's take the absolute value of negative 10, which is positive 10, and the absolute value of six, which is six. Let's subtract them, larger one minus smaller one, 10 minus six is gonna give us four, but we wanna make sure to keep the sign of the larger one, which was 10, but its original number was negative 10. So we wanna make sure our final answer is negative as well. Okay, moving on to nine, again, we have different signs. Let's go ahead and find the absolute value. Absolute value of 12 is 12. Absolute value of five is five. Let's take our larger one minus our smaller one. 12 minus five is seven. And then we wanna keep the sign of the larger number while 12 was originally positive, which means my final answer also needs to be positive. For number 10, again, we have different signs. Take your absolute value of both of them. Absolute value of negative 14 is 14. Absolute value of 12 is 12. Okay, let's go ahead and subtract them. 14 minus 12 is two. Take a look at your larger number. Well, 14 was negative, so my final answer needs to be negative. Number 11, we have the same signs. Absolute value of both of those, we have positive six. Absolute value of negative 14 is 14. Since we have the same signs, let's go ahead and add these together. Six plus 14 is 20. But since both of our numbers were originally negative, we wanna make sure our final answer is negative as well. Right, and one more, we have different signs. So take your absolute value of nine, which is nine, and the absolute value of negative 16 is positive 16. So take your larger one, 16, minus your smaller one, which is nine. You end up getting an answer of seven, but remember to keep the sign of the larger number, 16 was originally negative, so my final answer needs to be negative seven. Hope you went six for six in the practice session of this video, and after watching this, you're able to add integers utilizing absolute value just fine. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.